Michael, Prince George's County Police released pictures of the suspect in that stabbing. We're also learning details about the victim in this troubling incident. WJC is live at Prince George's County Police Headquarters. Rachel Carden with the new developments within the past hour. Rachel. That's right, Vicka Denise. Now, friends are telling me this was much more than a fight over the popular Popeye's chicken sandwich, but according to Prince George's County Police, they updated us just about 20 minutes ago. They said all indications show that the victim was cutting the suspect in line, a line specific to get the sandwich. A fight broke out and he was stabbed outside. Here's what we know. We have much more information for you. This is the man police are looking for. They say he and the woman pictured here were seen together at the Popeye's restaurant on Livingston Road in Oxon Hill. This all happened around 7 o'clock last night. They say 28-year-old Kevin Tyrell Davis began cutting people who were standing in line specifically to get the popular Popeye's chicken sandwich. Police say the two men started arguing. The fight spills out into the parking lot where Davis was stabbed once. He was rushed to the hospital, but died less than an hour later, according to police. I want to make this clear. 15 seconds later, a stabbing occurs. So from the moment that this single individual confronts the man who had cut in front of the other customers, 15 seconds later, on the sidewalk in front of this store, there's a stabbing that leads to a death. This wasn't nothing over no chicken sandwich or nothing like that. More it seems more like a misunderstanding. Now, again, the police chief is telling us that this victim was stabbed one time. Again, they're looking for more information about the man and woman that you saw in the pictures we provided. Now, we did speak to several friends as well as people at the, at the restaurant today, customers there. So we'll have much more coming up at 5 o'clock. We know police have recovered a weapon in this case. They're urging anyone with information to come forward. They say you can give information to them anonymously. For now, we're live at Prince George's County Police Headquarters. I'm Rachel Carden for WJZ.